Have you ever tried to get someone to see your side of an issue and they refuse to? Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about ways that you can strengthen your ability to influence others. And it's coming up right now. Welcome everyone, Michael Finley here with another episode of Leadership Roll Call, where we give you tips, suggestions, and recommendations on how you can become a more effective leader. Our topic today is how to strengthen your ability to influence others. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you a question. What have you found successful in your abilities to influence others? I'd like to hear your comments. Please put them below. The ability to influence others is a key leadership trait. If a manager cannot get someone to buy in to what they're trying to accomplish, then they won't be successful. If they don't get their team to buy in what they're trying to accomplish, their team's not going to be successful. Being able to influence others is that key leadership trait, and we're going to discuss how you can strengthen your ability to influence others. So let's talk about influence a minute. It is not sugarcoating something or manipulating people to get them to do your bidding. That's not it at all. It is inspiring, encouraging, persuading people to see your side of things. So what are the different types of ways we can influence others? Well, one group identified five different ways that we can influence others. Number one is asserting. This is where you insist your ideas are being heard and you challenge those ideas of others. Number two is convincing. You present your ideas in a logical manner in order to convince others that your side is right. Number three is negotiation. This is where you compromise and make concessions in order for the greater good. Number four is bridging. This is where you build relationships with others. And the last one is inspiring. This is where you advocate your ideas with a shared sense of purpose and exciting possibilities and people join you because they share that same thing. Now each one of these is effective depending on the situation and the people involved. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all. It depends on the situation which method of influencing that you would use. Now in order to strengthen your ability to influence others, there's a few things you need. Number one is political savvy. Yeah, I know, playing politics has gotten a bad connotation, and rightfully so. But what I mean by political, being politically savvy is, first thing you want to do is build your network strategically. So we all have people we hang around with at work, our friends. But are we hanging around the right people? So we want to identify those key players and find common ground with them and build our network with those people strategically. The next thing we want to do, being politically savvy, is we don't want to force our opinion down someone's throat. We want to talk about things in a rational manner. And the last thing we want to be, as far as politically savvy is, we want to look and listen to verbal and nonverbal things that people we're talking to. This is where emotional intelligence comes in. Next thing we want to do to strengthen our influence is we need to promote ourselves. Now, there's some people out there that are hesitant to do that. They don't want to come off as arrogant. But we need to make sure that people believe us to be credible. And sometimes we need to promote ourselves. We need to talk about our accomplishments. We need to make sure that they know what our accomplishments are. And we need to do it in a manner that doesn't come off like you're bragging, but you are, remember, you're establishing your credibility with others. And lastly, we want to build trust. Now, with our employees, we need to let them know that we have their back, that they can trust us. And in fact, they will turn around and trust you. And we also need to make sure that our network trusts us, that we have their intentions along with our intentions in the best light. So we want to make sure that people trust us. The goal is to influence others, not manipulate them. Remember that these methods of influencing depend on the situation and the people. We want to make sure that we are trustworthy while we're doing it, that we're credible while we're doing it, and that we are displaying emotional intelligence by listening to others. Only then can you 
do this strategically and accomplish your goals. I hope this brief overview was beneficial to you. If you have a question or comment about this topic or any topic that you would like to see in the future, please put it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, good luck with influencing others.